How should one portray the Rebbe to someone who is new to Judaism? One of the things, and there's probably others, but one of the things which the Rebbe wrote on a letter of Gimel Tammuz Taf Shin Yud, where the Rebbe explains, first of all, there's so much about a Rebbe, but that's not what sums it up. And what does sum it up is that he is our head. Just like the body has a head, and all the limbs of the body are all following the head, and they're all run and controlled by the head. In a similar sense, a Rebbe is the head of the Jewish people. And that is the thing which it's all about. He is also a tzaddik and a goin, and even more than what we'll, we can even imagine, what we can fathom, and miracle worker, etc. But what sums it up is the fact that he's the head of the Jewish people, and that everything of the body follows the head. There's also a story, which I don't know exactly, I'm giving it over how I don't remember seeing it written, but uh, I mean written down by the Rebbe himself. But um, there came a group of college students back in the early years, and they spent a Shabbos in 770, and of course they saw a lot of things which were new to them, the whole idea of learning chassidus before davening, the whole idea of davening at length, etc., etc. But all of these, the way chassidim are careful about every single mitzvah, and it's a way of life, all of this was amazing. One of the things that they noticed, which was a big thing for them, is the fact that everything that a chassid wants to do, he asks the Rebbe. It's a business question, he asks the Rebbe. It's a medical question, he asks the Rebbe. It's a spiritual and for them, a Rebbe is more someone who you ask a shayla, you ask a halachic question, you ask maybe a philosophical question. And they asked the chassidim, is it not possible that the Rebbe would make a mistake? And they said, no, the Rebbe can't make a mistake. So the question they asked was, well, does the Rebbe write with a pencil? He said, yeah, does he have an eraser at the back of the pencil? I said, yeah, why does he have an eraser if he can't make mistakes? So they answered them that it's not for making a mistake, but rather when there's a deeper and a higher, every time a person is always reaching higher levels and higher levels, so he has to erase the previous one in order to make room for the new higher understanding. Anyway, they came to the Rebbe, and they asked the Rebbe, can we ask a question, can a Rebbe make a mistake? And the Rebbe said the following, in truth, a Jew cannot make a mistake because a Jew has an neshama, which is part of Hashem. And therefore, it's impossible for part of Hashem to make a mistake. So then where is the, is the mistake come from? Because we also have a body which is hiding over the reality of being part of Hashem. And therefore, that's where the mistakes come from. The Rebbe is in touch with that neshama and isn't, isn't deterred by the concealment of the body. And perhaps this is also something which one can explain when explaining someone what it means a Rebbe. A Rebbe is a person who's me and you, he's all of us. But with us we have the concealment because that's how Hashem put us in a world where there's a concealment. With a Rebbe he doesn't deal with that concealment, he doesn't have the concealment because Hashem wanted to put someone who shows us our reality of who we really are, of our soul, the way it's connected to Hashem. And a Rebbe that's fully revealed and open and not covered over whatsoever. And that we see in everything. When you ask him a question and he says, you have an issue with, with, with your health, check tefillin, keep kosher, etc. He sees everything in the fully real way of what it really is and he shows it to us in our world as well, in our lives as well. Mm-hmm.